Hello fellow seekers of productivity enhancement. In this video I would like to show you the main features of Time Planner application. Now we see the main menu and so let's go to the first tab, it's called Login tab. But in order to understand what's in there and how to use it, we go better first to the second tab called Control tab. And here you see the list of categories and activities that you have and also in the bottom right corner you see purple action button and if you press on it you'll see the options to create the key components of this application and those are categories, activities, reminders, intents and tasks. So let's take a quick look how each one of them works. So we have a category called home, here it is and it has two activities in it, those are groceries to buy and laundry. And if we press on the little wrench on the right, you see the ability to edit the name, to pick another icon or to pick another color of this activity. Also, you may add note or add intent. About intents we're gonna talk in a little bit. And if you press just on the groceries to buy on its name, you'll see the list of the tasks and you see some groceries you're going to buy during your next shopping. So long touching it you can move the tasks here and there. You can sort them by name or by priority. Also you can complete all or uncomplete all or complete some certain things and then complete them as well. And surely you can delete something if you'd like and undo and we can add task. Let's see how it looks. So we add task and it's not enough for us just to have mark and name so we go for extra. And now we see the name, oh let's type a name actually. So let's say it's 1984, it's the name of the book. We would like to add it to bottom, not to the top. And we pick activity that we would like this task to be pinned and let it be books to read. And we have a mark, let's say it's this one. And now it's time to add an intent. Intent is a certain time period that you are intended to do a certain activity. So let's say we decide to read this George Orwell's book from, let's say, 1700 till 1800, let it be. And it doesn't seem that we will be able to read this book in just an hour. So it's not a goal, it's a ritual, rather ritual. So start date, let it be today, and we will be repeating it every week on on weekend and on Wednesday as today is Wednesday and we can add a reminder for this thing because we would like to be reminded about that and let's say the reminder will trigger in um, 12, 12 minutes all right uh, we can write some message but we won't do that now then we choose the strength, notification, alarm or alarm plus captcha. Let it be alarm plus captcha. And choose the type of captcha, integers, fractions, check, let it be integers. Captcha complexity, let it be medium. And we can turn it off or on the vibration, let's turn it off. And choose the melody for it and as 12 minutes before start it is a bit late so we press 11 minutes so it will work the time that we need and we save the reminder we save the new intent here we put here we have chosen the date and it's today okay and we save new task so let's look where it is so we have uh, Leisure as the category and books to read and yoohoo, here it is, it's 1984. We can move it here and there and see 
the alarm has triggered. So we have two options. We can just start right now it. We can dismiss it or we can open the application. Let's open it. Oh, here we have some captcha. We need to solve this mathematic equation in order to the app to be opened. So let's say 2026 20, is 52. No, it's not correct. All right, it's 11 now. It is correct. So I'm here back. All right, now it's time to see what it actually works, what it actually does. So we see here the activity called Books to Read. See? And it's working. It's starting to record the time. And you can see the bot, you can see in here that something is going on in here, right? All right, and um, right from this place, in one tab, we can go to our schedule and to see what we have planned for today. All right, we may zoom in or out for our convenience. Let's zoom out a little bit. And here we see the list of our intents. It's called intent mode. And we see that here is computing. We can use a menu button on the right to pin the task, to open the task list like this, to edit, disable or delete this intent. And also we can just press it and move it anywhere we'd like on our schedule. schedule. And also we can resize it. Resize it in a different way. We can make it bigger or smaller either ways. All right, and now we can see that it is a now line right now. And also if you tap on any free spot, you can see this little 20 thing town thing. And you can using plot action button, you may add new intent right here that will start the date, the time that you have picked. Also using the navigation buttons, navigation arrows, you can go to tomorrow, to yesterday, to any date. If you press on the center, you may pick the date where you'd like to go. And there is a home back to today button. So you're back to today. Also here you might use different filters to sort out the intents. And there is a second mode of your schedule. This was intent mode, and now we can see the reminder mode. Show reminders. So here we see the reminder that we have created just now. And you can move it, the same as with intents. You can edit it, disable or delete, and you know some properties of it. So it says what it does. All right, then we can go to the very special op option in this application, and it is its statistics. There are three statistic tabs, and we go to the first one, it is called Intended Time. Here you can see the pie chart and the list of all categories right now. It's go time plus ritual time. Intended time is the time that you have planned to spend for certain activities in categories. And here is a little range button on the bottom right. So you can here adjust it. You can, for instance, choose week, choose just activities in, and certain category, let it be leisure, and apply. So you see what you have planned, right? How much time and what percentage of it from the whole. So there is a second tab called locked time. It's the time that you have actually locked. For now we have locked only four minutes just for books to read. And uh, here the last tab it's called intended to log. Here you can see the chart, the bar chart, that shows the intended time to ritual, intended time to locked time. So here you see the 
bar that says how many minutes or hours you have spent. So it's about the relation between the expectations and the reality in here. Surely as you keep using it, you will see those charts doing something, actually showing you real statistics. And surely there is navigation bars here and you make a date for your stats. All right. And surely there is settings. You can play with the settings to adjust the application for your goals. And there is a backup option to create a backup or to restore the data from a backup file to keep your data secured. And I think now you're armed and ready to use Time Planner and to organize your life and track your precious time. Thanks for watching. Bye.